Okay, we've set the table up for another lithotomy case urology. Um, we have removed, based on the patient's size again, uh, I know that the patient's head is going to be here and she will fit comfortably on the table. We removed the headrest, upper back and lower back section to give good exposure to the head. The benefit of the two cutouts is we have the GYN cutout here. We also have the urology cutout here built into the split leg section. <clears throat> We're going to have the arm board and the, the stirrup on the non-transfer side of the table ready to go. This being the transfer side of the table. Turn the hand control on and we're going to slide the table to the foot end to clear the column and the base so that we have access up into the kidney area. When it reaches the first slide, that's the GYN cut. The second slide is the urology. We've placed the second arm board on the table after we've transferred the patient. Legs are in the Legs are on the lightweight transfer board on the table and we're going to place the legs into the stirrups for lithotomy position. A uh, couple of good questions to ask the surgeon. Will they be using a C-arm for the case? Does he sit or stand? Does he want a hard pan, which we've installed underneath the seat plate and or a disposable bag, which we have both. Okay, once we've got the patient situated like this, we are going to place the legs into the stirrups again. And strap them down. Again, foot against the, foot against the uh, uh, end of the, the uh, bottom of the stirrup. Good support up under the thigh. Okay, patient up into lithotomy. The other question you need to know, will the doctor, the surgeon require a foot switch? A lot of times in urology cases, they want to control the table themselves um, for uh, TURPs. Uh, prostatectomies, TURBs, which is tr transurethral resection of the bladder. Um, but make sure you, you know if he needs a foot switch ahead of time. Now the nice part of the transfer board, once we have the patient in the lithotomy position, a lot of times with other transfer boards from competitors, you need to reach in, unscrew, squeeze, um, squeeze and hold, to get the removal of the transfer board. We are going to lift the latches, walking around the table, and then remove from the end. Again, we're ready to recover the patient uh, following surgery, and the nice part of this transfer system is you don't have to reach into the surgical area following the case to get the transfer board back on the table. You can do it from the end and it's locked into position. Um, lower the patient's legs down and remove the legs from the stirrups. We've taken the legs out of the stirrups, placed them back on the transfer board, removing the stirrup and the arm board to transfer the patient back to the gurney and out of the operating room.